First at five, the first week is in the books for Atlanta Public Schools, but the real question being asked is about the district's leadership. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Jennifer Bellamy. And I'm Faith Jesse. Some changes are coming this week. The school board announced Dr. Danielle Battle will take over as interim superintendent. And this comes months after the school board announced it would be replacing Dr. Lisa Herring at the end of the school year. 11 Live's Bobeth Yates is live at APS headquarters. So Bobeth, I mean, it looks like her tenure is ending sooner than she thought. What are you hearing about this move? Well, most people I spoke to, Faith, say they're not happy with this abrupt change, but they add if the decision must be made, the new interim superintendent choice is a good one. Uh, Atlanta needs to provide some type of continuity for the customers. And by customers, Bredalia Turner, the president of the Atlanta Federation of Teachers, is referring to students, teachers, and parents throughout Atlanta public schools. After the school board announced the current superintendent, Lisa Herring, will transition from her role this month, much earlier than expected. We would like to see Atlanta with some type of vision that they can actually demonstrate to the public the confidence that they're getting a quality, equitable education. And the way to do that is to have a person that heads that giant ship up. But former APS board member, now state senator Jason Estevez, says while there has been a lot of change in leadership, the district is still performing well. There tends to be transition at the top, uh, whether that's with school board members or the superintendent. Uh, but what I appreciate about Atlanta Public Schools, particularly in the last decade, is the fact that we have great leaders and we have great teachers uh, that are continuing to work and continuing to stay focused on kids. Estevez adds, while leadership is important, parents can offset some of the concern by staying involved. Stay engaged with the principal, stay engaged with your uh, child's teachers, and I would also say to stay engaged with the school board. There are school board elections in Atlanta this year, and I encourage parents to look at candidates, look at uh, who's running, and to make informed decisions. And as the school board's decision potentially brings about more changes, Turner says she is in support of the interim superintendent selection, Dr. Danielle Battle. If anything Atlanta has done right in the past years, is getting Dr. Danielle Battle in. Now, we're told Dr. Battle has more than 30 years experience and worked in the classroom prior to being an administrator. Uh, Turner also tells me that she has a known, is she's known for being fair and also focused on fine details. Now, this is not a done deal yet. The school board has to finalize the vote coming up on Monday. And coming up at 6, we'll hear from the current superintendent, Dr. Lisa Heron. She sent us a statement and we'll have tell you what that says coming up.